Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. Today, I'll be turning this gray cat into something. I don't know. For me, it's like a design reset to just grab a d random doll base and like start repainting. So hopefully this repaint will jumpstart my brain and turn out good. So let's get started. So to start this repaint, I begin with the hair. I choose some old nylon that I had in my stock. I then paint the head to match the colors and to also help with the placement of which color goes where. After that is dry, I reroute the head, and now she has nice flowy hair, which gets cut shorter later. Now at this point, I wanted to keep her as a cat, so I added some gray yarn to her ears and made her a fluffy tail. I end up not making a cat, as you can see from the thumbnail and the neon ram title card. Time to spray the body and face with MSC. I then blush the body with pinks, purples, and blues. For the blue, I do it at the ankle, then the purple's at the waist, and then pink is on the chest area. But the leg part and hip part later becomes relevant, but we won't discuss that now. I then blush her face with blues for her upper shadow and purples for her under shadow, and then pinks for her cheeks and forehead. I then add more pigment to her eyes, like her eyeliner and under eyes with color pencils and paint. Sorry for the weird angles. I add the whites of her eyes with paint, I then add her brows with blues, and I add a few freckles there on her cheeks with gray. I then use this neon paint for her eyes. I love this color, it's so bright and in your face. I was gonna add a darker pink for a gradient, but then changed it to pink to white gradient. I then put on her lipstick, she loves her purple lipstick. Off camera I did add a few more details like lashes and her little cat nose and some little cheek decor. And now she is no longer a cat but a ram. So I make her horns with a wire base and add layers of epoxy to first bulk up the shape and to make the horns thicker. To stick them to her head, I use stronger magnets that I finally got. To give them some a texture and to look more like a ram, I add some rings to the horns and kind of like smooth them around and squish them so they don't look too weird. I was guessing at this point. I'm not an expert here. I don't know. I'm just trying to make something that looks good. But they do look good. Also, somehow along the way, she grew ears, but they need to be gray, so I paint them. I then paint her horns with the neon pink and then add a gradient of blue at the base and lighter pink at the tip. Looking good so far. I like her better as a ram than a cat, don't you? Now, time to do something I haven't done before, but I watch other doll creators do it all the time, so look to their videos for better tutorials. I did that while I was making her ram legs. 
I first cut off her legs and then make a wire to connect them back, but at a weird angle. I then use glue to first hold them in place, and then I use epoxy clay to like tighten the hold. I then shape her hooves. I ignore the little nubs, they fall off later. Getting the legs to match the height and placement of the other is so hard. Mine are a little off, but it looks close enough to work. I then add flocking to her legs first in blue closest to her hoofs and then I add purple along her knees and then for her upper leg I, and waist I use gray. I wanted to make her a puffy jacket. I had my mind set on making her a puffy jacket. I got the fabric ready, I got a pattern ready. Also, side note, I'm not sure what fabric is which or the right names for all of them, so I'm very sorry, I'm mostly guessing. But, puffy jacket. Back to her jacket. All goes well so far. I make the sleeves. I also had some stuffing between the two layers of the jacket, like the shiny outside and the inner lining. I added like stuffing in the middle so it would be puffy. I then sew everything together. I put the line details, like you know how on some puffy jackets, I kind of guessed for what I was doing here. I wasn't quite sure. And then I close the sleeve and the sides and then I go to turn out the sleeves and well, I poke a hole and I hate myself. So I will use this plastic jacket from a Spectre doll and make her a weird bra. And add some harness and other details to her outfit, feeling defeated, just try to make this doll work and BAM! Not bad if I do say so myself. And here is the final doll, my neon ram, Rave Girl. Try saying that five times fast. She is always down for a party and to dance into the night. She loves how the world lights up under the dark night. Again, I'm gonna ask you guys to give a name suggestion for this little ram girl. Leave a comment for what you think her name should be and I will pick the one that suits her the most. I also have my spider girl from last year who glows too, so maybe they met at a party and are friends now. Thank you all for joining me today and creating this doll was irritating. She fought me the entire time. Hopefully the next projects will be easier on me and actually do what I say. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more a part of my process and subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.